Josh and Caleb. Welcome back to the channel, Josh the Movie Collector here. I'm of course with A Day with Caleb here, and we are at Chattanooga McKay's, the fourth video in this long series. <laughs> I only have three, so... Yeah, Caleb split his up because he didn't find that much the last Knoxville day. But it's hot out here, uh, we're going to go inside. Hopefully I can find the rest of the Mary Kate and Ashley movies I need to upgrade. So let's go inside because it's a uh, melting. All right, I got a box, <laughs> another box. Spent probably a little too much, but got some rare things in here. Uh, Kale got some cool stuff. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, I can't see. Yeah, you can see it. So, not as much as me. <laughs> uh, we're going to head home, and then I'm going to show you what I got. Kale's going to show what he got on his channel. I don't know when these videos are going to be up. Yours will probably be up before mine, I'm guessing. But uh, let's take a look at everything I grabbed right now. We are back in Macon, Georgia. Made it back. Made it through Atlanta. Ah, it got in some traffic. <laughs> anyway, we're here. So uh, we're going to take a look at everything I got today because... Man, there are some amazing things, some stuff that I thought would never be taken off my wish list, some cool horror, some complete series of some shows. All right, let's, let's just jump in. Sorry I didn't film in the store today. Hopefully the second video in this series, I filmed a lot. <laughs> so hopefully you get a sense of uh, what McKay's is all about. Hopefully I'll show that in the second video, even though I did not film a lot the other three videos. <laughs> oh, and if you want a Josh the Movie Collector shirt, go to cinemasuitness.com or spread shirt I'll leave a link down below this is the very first shirt we got with the whole crew so awesome but now there's a Josh the movie collector shirt which I just got mine in the mail so and stickers I got some bunch of stickers I'll be handing out so Anyway, go, link is down below. Alright, starting off, we have Red Sonja, the anime movie from, like, 2015, I believe. Uh, I don't know, it doesn't say a date, of course. Uh, Queen of Plays, that has been on my wish list since it came out. So that is a neat find. Uh, Valley Girl, Nick Cage, love this movie. Not not my favorite Nick Cage, but it's it's definitely up there. Good eighties movie. Uh, I forget what year. Eighty three. Yeah. Then because I'm trying to get all the Nickelodeon stuff. Roxy Hunter and the Myth of the Mermaid movie. This is a movie. I've never seen Roxy Hunter the series. So I thought, you know, not knowing anything about it, I would check out the movie. 
Plus it was only a dollar and it was mint. Then this is cool, the mystery of the wax museum. This has been on my wish list for a little while. I enjoy any time that horror movies take place in a wax museum. Great. House of Wax. Uh, of course, now I'm going to forget the name of that other one. Waxwork. Wow. That's a good one. And the remake of House of Wax. Love all those, so had to grab that. Uh, Who's Harry Crumb? Great John Candy movie. Uh, had them VHS. So for a dollar, had to upgrade that. Did not have this. Uh, Love Stinks. Tyra Banks. French Stewart. He's great. Inspector Gadget. <laughs> in, in the second one. Uh, so two bucks. Had to grab this one. I remember seeing this cover back in the day uh, via rental stores. Uh, 99, so yeah. We've been Video Warehouse and Blockbuster. Then this is cool. No Time for Sergeants. Andy Griffith and Don Knotts is in this before their careers took off with Andy Griffith. They were in a movie together. A lot of people do not know that. Uh, 57. So, yeah. I remember watching this while I was a kid. I'm trying to upgrade for a while now. So, that is cool. Then something I've never heard of. Starring Joan Cusack. Acceptance. If you know anything about the movies that I don't know about, leave a comment. Uh, there's a movie called Accepted, starring Jonah Hill. <laughs> I, I don't think this is related to that, but it stars Way, May Whitman. I promise I can talk from Parenthood, so that's cool. I know her. Love Parenthood. Great show. Uh, inside the Actors Studio, Robin Williams. That's cool. I have the Giant Depp one. Then Open Season, the bonus DVD. This is cool. I love bonus discs. Bunch of special features there. Love Open Season. Then Hammy's Nutty Fun DVD, another little bonus DVD from Over the Hedge. I believe that was packaged with the movie. Uh, upgrading Highlander for 25 cents. That was too good of a deal to pass on. I enjoyed the first Highlander. <laughs> now, all the sequels I cannot say are that good. But the original, I actually do enjoy. Probably one of the better sci-fi movies ever made. Then this is interesting. Uh, the Office Special. I got this because Cave wanted the box set that comes with Season 1, 2, and the special. I said, I don't have to have the box set. You just give me your seasons. I'll buy the special, and I'll buy you the worst witch. You know, we'll call it even. <laughs> so, got that. Got killed the worst witch, and he'll give me the other office seasons. Then this is interesting. Hollywood's greatest stunts. Like a whole box set of stuff. Cliffhanger, Golden Eye, Clear and Present Danger, Braveheart, just to list a few. Nightmare on Elm Street, that's really cool. Men in Black, Terminator 2, this is neat. Uh, 
being a film buff and someone who's just a movie nerd, <laughs> stuff like documentaries and true love things really enjoy this kind of stuff. So that was a cool fun, especially at four bucks. Then this is cool, 911. I remember watching the first few episodes when it was on TV. I believe they're on like season three now or four, and there's a spin off 911 Lone Star. I believe I could be wrong. But I really enjoy this one. Ryan Murphy, who is one of the best TV producers working today. He, of course, did American Horror Story and the OJ one, uh, American Crime Story, maybe? Could be wrong. And then, of course, Scream Queens, which is a great show. Should have lasted more than two seasons, Ron. Should have. <laughs> well, I guess nobody watched it from what I've heard, especially the second season, which is a shame because it is great. In fact, I had to get it from Japan because it was not released here in America. So anyway, a little feedback on Ryan Murphy there, but this is also really great. I need to get into American Horror Story, but it's just so... The seasons are expensive. If it ever ends and they do like a big complete series, I'm going to grab it and marathon all of the seasons. Now I did watch a couple episodes of the carnival one. That one was pretty cool, but as far as the rest of them, have not watched a single episode. So need to get into that, but until then, I can watch some of his other shows. <laughs> uh, Goodbye Lover, some Patricia Arquette there. I've never seen this one, so leave a comment if you have. Then this is interesting, Animal Farm, but animated. Really cool. I have the live action one done by Hallmark. I uh, have them on VHS, but this looks really cool. Like that animation style. So look forward to checking that out. Did not have it. Another thing I did, I was actually surprised I did not have this. Rockstar. <laughs> Uh, Mark Wahlberg, Jennifer Aniston. I remember watching this long time ago. Uh, this came out in 2001, so I probably ran it not long after that. But I don't have it in my collection. I, I'm done. I recatalogued my entire collection, so it is current, it is up to date. So. I do not have that in my collection. Same with this, 61. All about the 61 Yankees. That is cool. Mickey Mantle, Babe Ruth. Oh, Mickey Mantle took Babe Ruth's record. Roger Morris. So yeah, look forward to watching a movie. Uh, directed by... Billy Crystal. So that's interesting. Uh, Uncle Drew. <laughs> Thought I would check that out for three bucks. Have not heard great things, but saw a trailer recently. I said, you know what? It's three bucks. I'm going to watch it. Then finally upgrading a great Coen Brothers, Barton Fink. I've had this on V. I bought a VHS copy of this from Movie Stop, which if you live in the Macon area, you know what Movie Stop was. It was a great movie store. And I bought 
buttload of VHS for movie stop. One of them was Barton Fink. Underrated Coen Brothers film. Really enjoy this one. All about 1940s Hollywood. About a guy who's ordered to write a screenplay. And a bunch of stuff goes wrong. Really great film. If you have not seen it, I recommend that one. Same thing with this, In the Army Now. Great Polly Shore film. I've actually met Polly Shore. Didn't get a picture with him. He was, we went to the comedy store and just to see him, we had to sit through like 10 comics, all their sets, just to get to Polly Shore. It was great. He dropped a microphone on Caleb's head. So much fun. <laughs> uh, but yeah, love Polly Shore. Very fine guy. Love, well, I don't love all of his movies, but the ones he did in the 90s are great. Uh, Strange Brew had this on VHS, directed by Rick Moranis and Dave Thomas. Really cool. Uh, sad for Rick to come back, hopefully, for uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids on Disney+. Plus. Hopefully he comes back for that. Uh, then this I've not heard of. The Kate Logan Affair. Don't know anything about, but Rory Gilmore there. Had to grab that. Then finally upgrading Never Ending Story 3. Probably the weakest. Well, it definitely is the weakest of the three. But Jack Black is in this one, so it's worth it just for that. I, I enjoy all three. I mean, <laughs> you know, had the own clamshell, so cool to upgrade. Same with this, Hercules and Xena, the battle for Mount Olympus. I've had the own clamshell forever. Finally upgrading Serpent and the Rainbow. Very underrated Wes Craven movie. If you have not seen this, definitely check out. All about voodoo and witchcraft. Such, it's so cool. Practical effects, zombies pop, popping out of coffins, it's great. Then this is, I've been trying to get this one for a while, Crash. Directed by David Cronenberg. Very cool. Joy David Cronenberg. Director of the Fly remake. And a bunch of other cool stuff. That one's been on my wish list for a while. Same with this. The Last Circus. Remember watching a trailer for this. A years ago. Put immediately random. My phone just stopped recording. Anyway, like I was saying, I immediately put this on my wish list. <laughs> uh, yeah. Then this is cool. Curtains. I've heard great things about this horror film. It has also been on my wish list for some time. Look at those iconic scene there. Uh, this was also, they talk about this in the documentary, In Search of Darkness 2. So, had to grab it right away. Then this, a lot of you probably do not know anything about this. <laughs> That's how rare it is. Uh, Cruel Jaws, which is the Italian sequel for Jaws. <clears throat> ah, got choked up there. Uh, the Italian sequel for Jaws. Uh, not done with permission, obviously. But it's really cool. Heard great things about. It. Supposed to be very cool. Uh, 
released under the title Jaws 5, but here in the States, obviously, it was called Cruel Jaws, because they could not call it Jaws 5. But look forward to checking this out, see how they uh, tie it together. <laughs> I, I think it's loosely based, like the shark goes to a different country, Bruce goes to a different country, I think is what they're saying. So that is a cool find, maybe the rarest thing I picked up at McKay's. Then finally upgrading the kid, running out of room, so we're gonna slide over. Love this one, Bruce Willis. Remember watching this in theaters way back in 2000? Is that? I believe it was 2000. Again, I don't see a date. I believe it was 2000 though. Anyway, doesn't matter. <laughs> Moving on. Then another Disney Princess sing-alongs. Uh, Perfectly Princess, Volume 3, I believe there are only three volumes, uh, correct me if I'm wrong about that, so. Uh, then Brother Bear, finally upgrading that for two dollars, but this is cool, and Frank, uh, Buena Vista, which is Disney, I remember when Dave picked this up. See us pick this up, so I had to grab it. Uh, yeah, it's a little pricey, but worth it. As a rare title, goes for quite a bit online. Then the whole series of Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Yeah, uh, all six volumes. Just quickly show what they look like and trying to get this series that is cool a Disney XD series I did not have then this I did not even know existed Planet of the Apes the complete TV series I didn't know there was a series, so that is cool. Uh, how many episodes were there? 14, including The Liberator, which never aired in the original run. And Roddy McDowell is in the show. That's cool. He was in a couple of the Apes movies. This is really cool. One of the coolest things, I would say. This is certainly up there as far as coolest things. The complete series of Diagnosis Murder. Love this show. Dick Van Dyke and his son. I forget his son's name. Barry. Barry Van Dyke. So Dick Van Dyke and Barry, both in a series together. I've seen a lot of these episodes, definitely not all 178. <laughs> so I got a marathon, and no, I've not seen any of the movies. This is a whole movie collection in all eight seasons, so together, combined, this is a whole series. <laughs> really cool, love this show. One of my favorites, it's up there with Monk and Psych. I love murder mystery shows, so I look forward to binging this. Uh, it was 60 for the whole thing, so that is cool, worth Worth it, definitely. Now, I didn't get to check the disc, so hopefully... Uh... <laughs> Just 
just now realized it came with the movie collection. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, I'll trade that in. No big deal. Uh, the reason I did not know that is because the discs were held up there and he just shoved them in and I didn't actually get a chance to look at them. But that's okay. This one is brand new factory sealed, so if there are any problems, <laughs> I'm all set. Alright. So, Diagnosis Murder, the complete series, plus an extra movie collection <laughs> I grabbed. Alright, so, that is going to do it for our little journey to Tennessee, Chattanooga, and Knoxville. Over four videos. Not sure how I'm going to release them. Either two at a time or one at a time. I'm not sure yet because I'm way ahead as far as <laughs> movies go. Uh, but yeah, I'll leave a link down below for Caleb's channel as well. Uh, go buy a Josh the Movie Collector t shirt. Link is also down below. Alright, I got lots of movies and got all the VHS I upgraded and catalogs. <laughs> My night is set. Alright, so that is going to do it. I'm Josh, of course. Uh, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button if you would. Want to get to 1,000. We're ways away from that, but man can dream, can he? Anyway, go subscribe. Go smash the like button. Comment down below what your favorite item is that I picked up. Cruel jaw, Jaws? Diagnosis Murder? Planet of the Apes? Maybe a Disney item? Anyway, go comment your favorite item. So there's going to do it. I'm Josh. More videos coming as always. And tune in if I don't see you out thrifting. Alright, Walt well, Disney World, I will see you at the movies. Bye.